difficult, isn't it, when you become part of the British monarchy? And of course, you're known around the world. And then suddenly that life stops. You know who we're talking about, of course. The former royal known as His Royal Highness Prince Andrew, the Duke of York. Now, a lot of people have been talking about the recent, well, shall we say, uh, abrupt removal from the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. And as I said, you know, the poor man has been suffering COVID and been an extra worry to our gracious monarch, uh, Her Majesty the Queen, naturally. Now he seems up and around, back on his feet at least. We've seen him pictured, of course, taking more um, riding lessons out and about in Windsor. But now there's a story breaking that could really change the course of his life after a secret meeting with senior royals inside Buckingham Palace recently. But what does Prince Andrew allegedly think about this? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to have you company today as an ever. Thank you for joining me. It really is nice to see you. Hope you're all keeping well, one and all. I know, I feel now we've recovered from the Platinum Jubilee celebrations, just about, not totally though. But when you watch the footage back, you know, it does seem like a lifetime ago. Do you find that when you watch things or see things a week down the line and think, did I go there? Was I truly sat at that point? That's how I feel sometimes. I don't know. Things just go so quickly, don't they? But what spectacular celebrations they were. And of course, the problem that, you know, one person who would have liked to have been there was, of course, the disgraced Duke, the Duke of York. Now, the downside to that, as we know, is, you know, you can look at each side. And as I say, we like to be impartial. He obviously decided to pay out uh, that particular fund for whatever reason. I truly believe that it was to save the blushes, of course, of our gracious Majesty the Queen in what is a very pivotal year in her reign. Let's not forget that. I mean, if you'd have gone to court, can you imagine what could have come out? Uh, true or false? And as we've seen with the tabloid newspapers, they've had a field day with Andrew. But now it's been assigned to the fact that Prince Andrew may be moving up to Scotland uh, on a full-time basis to start a brand new life. Now, let me tell you what we know so far. That story has just circulated out of thin air. What the senior royals did have a meeting about, uh, you know, a couple of days ago now, let me tell you, is this. It was all about Prince Andrew and basically what can he do? How can he still become useful, even if it's in the back room of the British monarchy? Because obviously, you know, he's knowledgeable. He's been in the game a long time and it would be a shame not to use him in some capacity. And also, let's think about the man himself. His mental health must be truly suffering. He went from hero to zero pretty quickly. But the story about him moving to, uh, you know, up to Scotland is a little bit far-fetched. What we can tell you is he will be going up for an extended period to spend more time with his mother, our gracious Queen, as she resides up in her favourite place, Balmoral, but not necessarily in the main house. Uh, it's, been to it's been said, shall I say, that she's going to a very small lodge on the estate, which has been ideally fitted to make mobility a little bit easier for the young at heart. I'm pleased about that, aren't you? As for Andrew, he's going nowhere fast. But when we know, of course, we'll let you know first. Neil Sean, Kensington Gardens, London.